This week on Council Bluffs News, two restaurants on the 100 block received top honors in Iowa. We'll tell you who they are and why Council Bluffs is lucky to have them. Plus, Barbecue for Blue, the thrift store and food pantry hosts an appreciation day for Council Bluffs law enforcement. Coverage of that event that was so much more than a free meal. This is who we are. We spotlight Jesse Nails as a proud member of the Council Bluffs Chamber of Commerce in this month's Chamber Spotlight. And Patricia LaBounty joins us in studio to tell us how upcoming events at the Union Pacific Railroad Museum are making a positive impact on families. That and more all on this week's Council Bluffs News. Hello and welcome back to this week's Council Bluffs News. I'm Aaron Zach. We all like to enjoy good food. Council Bluffs has many great local restaurants. Two of them are receiving statewide recognition. October 6th, members of the Iowa Restaurant Association will hold an awards gala in Des Moines to honor Dixie Quicks and Barley's Bar and Grill as two of the best in Iowa. What started out as a small business and it was just it, the Sunday brunch got bigger and bigger and has grown into a statewide favorite. I feel when I'm here, I feel like I'm at home. Rob Gilmer and Chef Renee Ordunia, owners of Dixie Quicks, began their restaurant journey 20 years ago. This is the third location we've been at um, and we came over from Omaha five years ago and it's been wonderful. The Iowa Rest to a Tour of the Year Award recognizes the restaurant operator who shows originality, quality and service to customers. It just, it's a nice to be acknowledged. It's nice to, you know, say, hey people, you know, we really like you, you really do a great job. Dixie Quicks is the first Council Bluffs restaurant in the history of the award to receive the honor. They're such honest, good restaurateurs because they um, serve a great product um, and they really become part of the community that they're in. The same can be said across the street at Barley's Bar and Grill. Owners Matt and Jill Johnson will be honored with the Iowa Restaurant Neighbor Award for Philanthropy. It's been a, quite an honor. Uh, you know, uh, my staff and I and my wife, we've been doing a lot of uh, volunteer work around Council Bluffs for the past few years. In 2015, Matt was honored as Iowa Western's Alumni of the Year. His work in the community is well documented. It's really nice to have other, other folks notice what we've been doing and get an award is always look really nice. Things like this don't just happen by chance. It's a concerted effort for Barley's to support the community that supports the establishment. And just getting involved, getting, getting your name out there, letting people know that you're willing to help them out with their events and, and, the, and the, the, their nonprofits and their charities and, and fundraising. And there are different atmospheres, Barley's and Dixie Quicks. A hometown pub with delicious food and a brunch eater's dream with an attached art gallery. The one thing in common? They'll be honored October 6th by the Iowa Restaurant Association. Oh, it's great. It's just, you know, it's awesome. Uh, I really don't have any words. I mean, it's just, it just it feels good to get recognized for, for doing, doing the, the, the right thing and helping good people. It's an honor that I think we both got this award and I hope this really brings a lot of good light to Council Bluffs and the 100 block because we do have wonderful things happening here. Again, the award gala will be held in Des Moines at the Temple for Performing Arts. Our thoughts and prayers go out to Chef Rene Ordunia of Dixie Quicks as he battles with cancer. His illness will likely prevent him from attending the awards ceremony as he's on hospice care. All the way from Northern Ireland, Northern Man comes to Bayless Park. The Irish trio performs for a free afternoon concert at the park and revisits old friendships. My favorite part about performing is uh, enjoying the audience 
and making the audience way happier, which is what we do every time we come to Nebraska and Iowa. So come along. Northern Man has been visiting Council Bluffs in Omaha since 1988. All ages are invited to enjoy the concert. For your Council Bluffs news, I'm Mike Simmons. Food, fun, and appreciation. One local church is combining all three into a day to honor local law enforcement. IWTV student Bowen Peterson has more. A beautiful sunny day in the bluffs is a perfect time to give back to a group of men and women who help keep us safe. This is a first time event. Uh, a, a woman who goes to church here, Sherry Poffenbarger, she, it was her idea and she asked for my support and I said I was happy to provide it. Friday, September 23rd, the community of Christ Church holds a barbecue for the police of Council Bluffs. Tim Carmody, the chief of police, says this is an honor. It's an incredible blessing to uh, get to get to be able to spend time with the people that support us, to know there is a strong support in our community for the good work that we do. Our officers work hard every day. The deputies in the county work hard every day to make Council Bluffs and Pot County as safe as it can be. Donald Welch, the pastor of Community of Christ, says this event didn't take long to put together. Uh, the community, I think, backed it so strongly, it literally only took two months to put it all together. Don Caterite, a local high school football referee, thinks this couldn't have come at a better time. Well, it means a lot. It means we've got to support our uh, police officers because across the country, people are just tearing the picking the place apart, think it's all their fault, which is not their fault. Something as easy as serving burgers and hot dogs doesn't compare to the job the police have to do. I'm from a law enforcement family myself. My father was a state policeman in Oregon. My, my brother is a captain in a city in Oregon, and it is an incredibly difficult job. And um, we just wanted uh, to give an opportunity for the community to come together with the police so that they could see him face to face and realize they're human beings just like just like you and I. For the police of Council Bluffs, attending events is nothing new, but an event just for them is a nice change. I just want to thank the community again for their wonderful support. Uh, even when it's good, it's, it's wonderful to come out and share a meal and get to know each other better. That way when something does happen or somebody has questions, they know they feel comfortable to approach us and ask us for help, so thank you. With the community coming together to show their thanks, and to the police of Council Bluffs saying their thanks, it was a great day had by all. For the Council Bluffs News, I'm Bowen Peterson. Protecting children from unnecessary risks of danger is something that parents regularly worry about. CHI Health Mercy Hospital hosts its informational event to help parents make educated decisions. September 25th, the hospital hosts a family health and safety day in their parking lot. Medication safety, concussions, sport injuries, and more are all part of the event. We started it as more, more kid-focused, and we've developed it to be more family-focused, so there's something uh, really for everyone. Car seat safety checks and alcohol impairment simulation also help attendees learn more about the dangers presented from vehicles. Put on your blue suede shoes because Elvis is back. On Sunday, September 25th, Joseph Hall hits the stage at the center in Council Bluffs to perform some of Elvis's greatest hits. Complete with costumes and the best of Elvis dance moves, you'll be all shook up watching the show. Well, this show appeals to all ages, young, old, and the young at heart. And, uh, you know, we go, we go through three decades of Elvis music from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. We have a lot of energy. There's a lot of good energy that comes with the show. And it's a, it's a trip down memory lane, and it's a chance to create uh, new memories and new fans. And it's, it's a, lot of, a lot of great vibes. The show is one of many stops on Joseph's Rock and Roll Remember tribute. For more information on Joseph Hall and his upcoming shows, go to www.josephhallelvis.com. Iowa Western's Canesville Arena hosts the 18th annual Black Tie Harvest event on September 24th. This year's theme, Masquerade. The event serves as the school's largest fundraiser of the year with a silent auction accompanying a delicious meal. Each fall, Iowa Western presents the Investment in Excellence Award to a person or organization making a positive impact. This year's recipient, the Iowa West Foundation. The Iowa West Foundation is an Iowa nonprofit foundation 
and uh, we've been in existence now for over 15 years. We started initially with uh, funding from the casinos. We've uh, grown through investments and through the years to the point where we have given away over $400 million in, in grants and initiatives. This year marks the first time that an organization and not a specific individual will receive the award in its 17-year history. Still to come on Council Bluffs News, this is who we are. There are many businesses who are proud members of the Council Bluffs Area Chamber of Commerce. We spotlight one of them in this month's Chamber Spotlight. But coming up next, Patricia Labounty joins us in studio to speak about how families can get together at the UP Museum throughout the month of October. Stay tuned. Schedule your campus visit today. Iowa Western, the world is waiting. Why is my son having trouble in school? Finding lowest airfare to Istanbul. No, I'm tired of fighting with my son over his homework. Home walk restaurant, need a review? No, he's smart, but his mind wanders. Seven wonders of the world. Why don't you understand me? I do. I was trying to show how Connor feels every day. Redirecting to understood.org. Join parents and experts at understood.org, a free online resource about learning and attention issues to help your child thrive. Seven thousand high school students drop out every school day. That's a line of desks more than four miles long. We can keep students in school. Visit BoostUp.org and take the first step. Welcome back to Council Bluffs News. I'm Aaron Zach. Joining me in studio today is Patricia LaBounty. She is the manager for the Union Pacific Railroad Museum. Patricia, thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having me, Aaron. So before we start talking about what's going on in October at the museum, let's get a little bit of a history of it. Sure. Well, as you might know, the Union Pacific Museum opened in Council Bluffs in 2003. Union Pacific has had a museum since 1920, but in 2003, when they moved their collection over to Council Bluffs, it really represented a shift in how the museum was operated. So the collection is still privately owned by Union Pacific, and the museum itself is operated by a nonprofit, the Union Pacific Museum Association, and of course the City of Council Bluffs still owns the building. So you have an event coming up in October. Uh, it's a popular event, if nonetheless, so uh, tell us about it. It is, absolutely. So family nights at the museum happen the first Friday of every month. Uh, we started that event in May of this year in an attempt to make the museum more accessible to families outside of work hours. Uh, being open 10 to 4 Thursday through Saturday, uh, we were limiting some people from being able to come. Uh, so family nights is the first Friday of every month from 5 to 7 p.m. And of course, it's free of charge. So why did the museum decide to uh, you know, start up this family nights in the first place? Um, we wanted to make sure that uh, museums were accessible to everyone, uh, regardless of their financial situation and also regardless of their work schedule. You know, it's a, an attempt for us to, to make, extend our hours in a way that might benefit the community. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to cut you off. No, no worries. <laughs> uh, what can people expect when they attend these family nights? So family nights are really a fun, great time. We have a variety of people coming. So families, of course. So if you have small children or your grandchildren or nieces and nephews, uh, if you're a big brother or big sister and want to bring the kids out for something to do on a Friday night, it's a great fun time. There's always a giveaway. There's always something exciting to do. And there's always something to see that's new and different. Every night has a theme. Well, 
you're absolutely right. I mean, family night at the museums are held, like you said, the first Friday of every month. Mm -hmm. And what's really intriguing to me is every time you go to the museum, you learn something new. And the tourists there are doing a fantastic job of giving you the history of, of what's going on that on that day. That's right. So uh, there is so much information inside the museum. Even if you spent hours there, uh, there would still be more for you to learn. And uh, we really pride ourselves on that depth of information and world-class exhibits. Is there a website where people can go to find more information about your upcoming events? Yes, uprrmuseum.org, or they can follow us on Facebook. All right, Patricia, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you. I hope everyone comes out October 7th for Go West Exploration Night at the museum. All right, thank you Thanks. very much. Council Bluffs News will be right back after this. Stay tuned. Body language. Without saying a word, it can tell you so much. Like someone is having a stroke. Know the sudden signs. Learn fast. F, face drooping. A, arm weakness. S, speech difficulty. T, time. Time to call 911 immediately. The sooner they get to the hospital, the sooner they'll get treatment. And that can make a remarkable difference in their recovery. Learn the body language, the sudden signs, and spot a stroke fast. Hey, I'm Anderson Cooper. As a parent, you want to make sure that your child knows how to deal with bullying when they see it happening. And chances are they want to help, but they don't really know how. I'll teach them that the best thing to do is calmly walk away, find a teacher or other adult, and speak up. And do your part. Be that adult they can talk to and trust will listen. Join me to help stop bullying. Go to stopbullying.gov to find out more. At Council Plus Savings Bank, you still get personalized customer service. We have identity safe checking with LifeLock, identity theft protection. You get personal mortgage lending to fit your needs now and in the future. You get business banking with the latest technology because saving you time saves you money. At Council of Savings Bank, you get people who answer when you call and local employees who are actively involved in our community. Council of Savings Bank, hometown banking the way it used to be. The We Don't Coast brand is a celebration of who we are, where we are, and how we operate. It belongs to the 30 plus communities who make up the greater Omaha area, including Council Bluffs. The Council Bluffs Chamber of Commerce is proud to help push this regional campaign. Here's a look at one of its many members. I am Helen with Jesse Nails, and this is who we are. I would Define us as kind of like a chill, like local little mom and pop nail salon that's been here for 16 years and we try, we strive to make the best experience for each and every one of our customers. I think what makes us different is like um, when you're here, you're very much in control. 
So what kind of experience do you want to have? Do you want to have like a friend-to-friend -friend basis? <clears throat> do you want us to know more about your family? Do you want to know about our family? I would say our prices are comparative. However, um, in all honesty, we kind of just like focus on like how we're doing and the quality we're doing in comparison to our prices. So yes, our prices are comparative, but they're not contingent on what other nail salons are doing. We're hoping to introduce soon um, waxing. In the last 15 years, we really would have never imagined that we would have expanded this much. Um, I think we really owe it all to our customers who've really been here since the beginning. Um, a lot of our customers still remember me from like when I was like kind of really small and like running around. So it's really fun to like watch our customers grow and our relationships grow with them. I think our long-term goal is just to continue to provide good service and I think that we're very flexible like so we're not very like worried about the future we still see us ourselves standing here for a really long time. We are Jesse Nails and we are proud members of the Council Bluffs Chamber of Commerce. We don't coach, we take care of business. Still to come on Council Bluffs News, there are plenty of furry friends at the Midlands Humane Society looking for a good home. We'll meet them in our Pets of the Week, and a look at our events calendar to wrap up the show. Create new opportunities and expand your knowledge with Iowa Western's continuing and career education. It was really intimidating to go back to school, but Iowa Western made me really feel like I could do it. Our goal is to help students achieve success from education to employment. Learn more, including information on extra benefits for Iowa residents at iwcc.edu slash continuing underscore education. Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, I made it. My life is full of statistics. Thing is, I could have dropped out of school and become one myself. But I didn't, because I had people that believed in me. Here's another statistic. 7,000 students drop out every school day. That's one every 26 seconds. It's time that students know that we believe in them. Inspire a student and share your message of support at boostup.org. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. Hi, I'm Brandon Shanahan. Here's a look at this week's events. 
The Main Street Farmers Market is hosting their last market of the season. The sales that line the sidewalks of the historic 100 block have been going every Thursday since the beginning of May and conclude October 1st. Of course, food, arts, and craft, and a variety of organizations will be on hand. The market will be open from 5 to 8 p.m. How would you like to listen to one of Nashville's hottest songwriters? You'll get that chance October 1st when Music City Hitmakers perform at the Arts Center on campus of Iowa Western. With over 30 number one hits, these Grammy Award winning writers have had their songs recorded by the likes of Kenny Chesney, Carrie Underwood, Blake Shelton, Lady Antebellum, and many more. Tickets are now available at the Arts Center. Concert starts at 7.30. Are you ready to get your rock on? Megadeth will shake the foundations of the Mid-America Center, October 3rd. The platinum selling band led by Dave Mustaine is one of the pioneers of metal. Megadeth will be accompanied by Amon Amarath, Suicidal Tendencies, Metal Church, and Havoc. Tickets are on sale now, so get them while they last. That's a look at our weekly events calendar. I'm Brandon Shanahan. <laughs> Hello, I'm Terry Gatch Mills, and welcome into Pets of the Week. This is Ginger, her file number is 20816, and she's a four and a half year old rat terrier mix. She's a really sweet dog, she's very protective. Older kids are recommended, as well as a fenced yard. And when she came in, she was pregnant, and we have three of her little babies on the adoption floor as well. Again, this is Ginger, 20816. This is Daisy, one of Ginger's babies, and she's got two siblings. Daisy's file number is 21466, and she's 12 weeks old. She was born on July 5th, and she's got two brothers that are all looking for homes. Again, this is Daisy, 21466. This is Chance, and his file number is 21701. He's a little bit nervous. He's a five-year-old poodle, toy poodle, and um, he would love a quiet home. He likes to just sit in your lap, and I think he's all about two and a half pounds. He's a wonderful little dog, and this is Chance 21701. This is Riker. His file number is 21351. And he was on, or his brother was on last week. His name was River. They're a great little pair. They can be adopted separate or together. They're very playful, very fun, and very calm. Again, this is Riker. His file number is 21351. And if you're interested in any of the pets you've seen today, please come down to Midlands Humane Society, located at 1020 Railroad Avenue in Council Bluffs. Thank you for tuning in and watching this week's Council Bluffs News. As always, CBTV is very eager to hear your feedback. If you'd like to send us your questions or comments, email them to cbtv at iwcc.edu. Or you can call us at 712 325 3312, or you can find us on social media. We're on Facebook and Twitter. Just search CBTV17. And of course, keep it right here for the latest scores and updates for local sports in your community by tuning in to the Bluff Sports Zone with JJ Davis. For your Council Bluffs News, I'm Aaron Zach.